Barry, I really appreciate you taking this time to sit down with us. I want to start by asking you both first. Betty, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's my first time back and uh, didn't do the test days and kind of walked in here and didn't think I'd start the year like this, but I'm happy. Baz, how are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. As good as can be with um, what we've been through, but yeah, well, it's... it's um, System's normal here, same crew, um, yeah, front of pit lane, which is awesome for the team, and yeah, just trying to soak in what we did last year. I think it's safe to say, I don't think anyone thought the year was going to start like this, so what can you tell me about the current situation between Erebus and Brody Kostecki? Um, look, we respect the privacy of Brody's, Brody's privacy, and because of that, we can't say anything. And Really, we just we need to look forward and talk about Todd and Jack. And but as far as Brody's concerned, we can't say a word. Barry, from your point of view, it's different for the whole team to start the year this way. How did you break the news to the team that Brody wouldn't be here for round one? Yeah, I think we, we yeah we just um, we didn't really say anything about why because we can't. So um, yeah, we just we just probably got together and said. If there's a situation with Brody, how are we going to replace him for short term? And um, yeah, we come up with a list of names, and Todd rose to the top. And yeah, Todd was going to be a co-driver anyway, so we'd already selected him as the top of the tree of all the drivers that you can have that aren't main game drivers. So he was naturally going to be the, the fill-in. So tell us how the team are feeling heading into a brand new year, knowing that the number one driver who won the championship for them isn't going to be here for this round, but also that you are the champions, that you're sitting in P1 in the yep. pit lane and you're here to defend two titles. They're very professional. Yeah. They've been very professional. I, same atmosphere, same everything else. They're happy. They're, they've got their music playing. They just do what they're meant to do. You mentioned that Todd is been fantastic in getting this wonderful opportunity to race with you guys this year. Just give us some insight into the way he's approaching it uh, and how he's sort of fitted into the dynamic of the team so far. Todd stepped into the team at the test day, went and saw George a couple of times in Queensland and just got his head around it and he's a very focused guy and very, um, I think, can't believe he's got this opportunity and, and we are the best team in pit lane at the moment, we've got the best cars. so. Him and Jack have got the best opportunity to win some races and that's what we want to see them do and just, just so they can prove to people that might knock them how good they are. So yeah, we, don't we can't we wait did for this, it. Don't forget we did this, what, four years ago? I know. We, we did exactly two, the yeah, same thing. Two drivers look, that look no where we ended up. Yeah, I know. We'll do it again, no problem. So what is it going to take to be able to maintain the performance of last year, to have the consistency that you enjoyed, uh, to be the team to beat when we head to Adelaide to retain this very spot in the pit lane? Yeah, oh, so yeah um, we, we've got confidence in our equipment, we've got confidence in our team and the two drivers we've picked. So if we can just keep, keep putting it together like we did last year, there's absolutely no reason why we can't win races. So um, I don't want to say it's up to Todd and Jack, but. Um, they've got to they've got to really rise to the occasion as much as we've got to keep our momentum. So um, yeah, I've got all the confidence in the world that we can we can tick some big boxes really quickly, and um, hopefully we do. You know, at the end of last year, we were on top of the world. Everybody believed in us, and and now yeah, at the beginning of the year, this is how we I felt. I know, yeah, but to have people that decided they didn't believe in us anymore, that hurts. So um, yeah, I got to have the energy to make sure we can. We can rebuild this and do it again, which I have. Um, but yeah, it hurts. It definitely hurts, and we just want to we just want to get back on track and worry about racing, and the rest will take care of itself. Don't worry. This is only bus 167. We've <laughs> been under so many buses, Baz. Yeah. You know, we always get we always work our way up. So will Todd be driving the car in the next round of the Australian Grand Prix? Uh, it's still TBA. Yeah, it's still um, yeah like. Brody, uh, Betty said before, we respect Brody's privacy and we'll see where it comes to, comes to in the next week or two. So that's going to be an evolving situation and you'll just have to wait and see. Yes. Can I circle back then to what you've been through, some of the reaction that you have faced in, in the wake of this situation? What has it been like for you? The worst was when one of my grandchildren I don't know how they read it, but they read it somewhere and said to my son, oh, is, is grandma a bad lady? And that, that did me in. 
and I just had to go, no, I'm not a bad lady. I'm just not saying anything. But you know what? The people that love us and the pe our fans that love us and are still here. For you, Barry, what's the reaction been like at a personal level? Yeah, oh, the biggest thing for me is uh, my, um, what? No, you're not going to show that, so. No, just. It's my wife and daughters and my daughters making sure I'm not going to hurt myself or do something silly. Because there's been so much hate and then I'm not that sort of person. I'm not a bully. I, I don't do anything but care for people. So, you know, and, and the whole process of this, I've had one of my best mate's wife pass away. And I've been in... Monday. Um, intensive care hospitals with him and trying to support him and it's just yeah, been hard. Barry, you have a heart of gold. It's just that they don't see it. How difficult is it to not be able to, I guess, come out and address the innuendo and the rumours that have been so That's not the hard out. part because that's just what but you do. But to set the record straight. Yeah, look, that, you know what, it will be set straight at some point, but that's not what matters. What matters is that we respect Brody's privacy. We respect the fact that we can't say anything. And we've just had to take this on. We've had to take on the haters. We've had to take on the people that are saying these things and just try to let it go. But sometimes in the dead of night, you just can't let it go. It, it affects you. Coming in today, I burst into tears on the plane. I just, I wanted to go home. But then I thought, no, I've got, I've got a team down here waiting for me. I've got fans here waiting for me. I've got Barry. I've got everyone else that are there to protect us. And that's what they do. They, they come in and they protect us. But the hurt is something that is real. And it, you, you just have to let it go. And these will be fake tears by you know, social media soon, so you know, I'm, I'm prepared for all that. Can I ask what role supercars have played in trying to help you guys with the current situation? Shane has come forward and offered his, offered his help. When I told him about the bullying online, he, um, he, I, he it's not that he said he would do anything, but he understood where I was coming from. Um, I think Supercars is doing what they're able to do, not what they would like to do. And um, look, I respect that. I respect the fact that there's not much they can do at the moment, but I think things have to change. Do you think Brady will drive for you guys this year? It's not up to us. No, it's not, not up to us, yeah. It's, it's not in our hands. Barry, Betty, I really appreciate the opportunity to sit down with you. And Tok, I'm wishing you all the very best on track this year. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jess. Uh, and I personally understand why people want to know more. We, we just honestly, exactly what Betty said, we, we can't say any more than what we have. And that's out of respect.